wild spaces not only means wild animals live here, but also wild or indigenous trees are vital for a fully functioning ecosystem. They provide homes for many of these animals, and they also provide life-giving food. So nourishing is the food from this natural pantry that one of the planet's largest animals gets most of its nourishment from it. Elephants play an important role as a sort of horticulturist for African ecosystems. Their droppings act as fertilizer, but they also store nutrient-rich seeds and nuts that will go on to create new growth. Well, that is, if the dung beetles and baboons don't get to the hidden food store first. Elephants are also viewed as a keystone species, as their actions affect others. In fact, many rely on the elephant's behavior for survival. Elephants break and pull trees down to get to the inner cambium layer under the bark. And while it may look destructive, it creates a microhabitat for seedlings and smaller animals. Owls and ground hornbills rely on this to help them create nesting sites in the hollows of old trees. Such useful animals are elephants that their neighborly actions even continue when they drink water. Their bulky bodies and big feet create pathways through the thickets for other smaller animals to be able to access rivers and waterholes. On the other end of the scale are these little guys. Weighing less than a cup of flour, tree squirrels are perfectly adapted to a life high up. Used to balance their light bodies, their furry tail takes up about half their body length. Their paws also have long fingers, helping them grasp onto bark and branches. Similar to the hands of other tree dwellers, like monkeys and baboons. Tree squirrels spend most of their time in between leaves, where the sun's rays are not that strong. They forage for food during the day, making them die ernal. But they keep an eye out for danger, which can come at any time. While the pack is away on an early morning hunt, wild dog puppies are taking full advantage of no adults around. Unhappy that the tiny predators are close by, these two tree squirrels are making sure the whole forest is alerted. Lifting their tails and spreading them out like this makes the tiny creatures seem bigger and hopefully a little more hard work for a predator to take on. Their cousins, the ground squirrel, lives as their name suggests, on the ground in communal burrows. Squirrel family groupings share the same scent, which makes it easier in setting up boundaries between social communities. Unlike baboons, vervet monkeys prefer spending as little time as possible on the ground. This youngster has lost the use of his back legs. Whether he was born this way or suffered it through an accident, he has certainly managed to survive. Although only possible in a life lived here, in between treetops, where his muscled arms power him through the adversity. These large wild spaces shelter incredible animals underneath inside and on top of the trees that grow here. One can't help but marvel at the variety of homes out there.